like to, before I even start, I want to thank yourself. I want to thank Franklin. I want to thank even uh, Emma and who did a, a sensational job just before me and every other speaker and organizer of this fantastic event. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I'd also like to show my utmost appreciation for the phenomenal young people who have dedicated their time and who uh, this is what really gets to me this is what really impresses me the fact that you are young people that felt that the best investment of your time was to be here this weekend this saturday is the wisest decision you can make and i'm going to sit down and i'm i'm not just going to say thank you what i want to do that i've never really done before is i am going to give away my notes for free my gcse a level university for anyone who's come today and i'm going to actually share my details towards the end so don't worry in terms of contacting me info at christianomaffeton.com drop me a line i'd love to share my notes just to say a thank you for joining us and joining me this saturday so without further ado i'm going to progress and i've been fortunate enough to have gone through a lot of things in my life so as you are well aware i passed gcse at nine but I don't want you to waste nine years making the mistakes that I made. So I'm going to do my best to condense nine years of mistakes into nine minutes. So here we go. So the first thing that I would encourage all of you to do, I'm going to drop a few tips, three tips actually I'm going to share with you today that anybody can apply, whether you're in secondary school, A-level, college, university, whatever. So the first thing that I want to encourage you to do is to know your why. So what that means is you need to be aware of the purpose for which you are doing the exam if you're doing gcse's know why you're doing it if you're doing a levels know why you're doing it if you're going to university don't just go there for the parties be very very confident and be very considered in your plans for the next stage of your life okay you want to make sure that you have clarity because clarity is power and one of the things that i enjoyed about doing my GCC was the fact that I love maths. So me doing a GCC in maths was very well within my interests. It was in the scope of what I wanted to do and it was right for me. Now, if you are aware that you have an interest in let's say finance, play, uh, doing your GCC in maths can play a role. But at least understanding that your GCSE in, math, in maths is going to lead towards a career in finance gives you more clarity and it gives you far more focus when the chips are down and when you actually need to do work. The second thing that I want to encourage you to do is actually to look at examiner's reports and to look at past papers. So one of the things that uh, people tend to highlight when it comes to GCSE is the fact that uh, it's an exam that's been done before, but if it is that you've done or you've had a chance to, to do a formal exam, uh, what it gives you an indication of is, is how the questions are asked. And so when you go for the examiner's report, it is a document to condense the way students answered exams or answer questions in that exam that year. And what they do, what the examiner does, is he writes a, a summary so that you, who's on the come up can be aware of the terrain. See it as your map, see it as your compass, okay, of what's to come. So you sit down, you look at your examiner's report and it gives you an indication as to one, the type of questions that come up, two, the way they are asked, and three, how you should answer them in order to get the most of your qualification and most of the exam time as well. The third tip that I want to give you is use YouTube. And so I've got a quick demonstration that I'd like to, to share with all of you today. I hope you're ready. How many of you are familiar with social media? How many of you love using social media? I'd love, thank you, thank you. Dami is, is very honest. I like that, I love that honesty. Um, so so what, we, what I'm, I'm going to show you um, and what I'm, I'm keen to be able to highlight is the importance of the tools that you use as a means of learning, okay? So most people's parents may be um, very hesitant to encourage their children to use social media and those types of tools. But as, a, as I'm going to emphasize, it is a tool. It is not a source of distraction. 
So it depends on how you use it. A computer can be a tool for productivity or it can be a tool for, let's say, frivolity or, you know, doing things that you probably shouldn't be doing. But if you are the owner of the tool and you have a purpose for why you are using it, it therefore depends on two. So if you are doing, here we go, we've got this, see this as Blue Peter, see this as academia meets Blue Peter. All right, so here's an example of a search that I did before. Edexcel GCSE Math. So for those of you who don't know um, about Edexcel, it is an exam board. So you can either have Edexcel or AQA, here we go. And GCSE is the qualification. So all you need to do is type in the exam board, the qualification that you want to be able to do, and then the uh, subject that you want to do it. Let's say we want to do GCSE maths. Oh, look, look at what you've got there. You've got November 2018, higher paper one walkthrough. Let's click on this and see what happens. So you have someone that has taken the time, one hour and 17 minutes exactly, to be able to break down every single question that could possibly come up or every single question in the 2018 paper. And so that's particularly helpful if you want to go through feedback, if you've attempted a question yourself and you want to understand what's the best way to answer it in order to get the results, right? So this is some of the things that you can use. Now, I didn't have this. You're very fortunate because I didn't have this in my time. So I had to use my brain and had to be using past papers. But you can use even things. I'm, and I'm going to show you something else also. Um, there's something on, on. How many of you are familiar with the platform TikTok? Raise your hand. I'd love to see that. Oh, 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 oh thank you, Darian. And all the amazing participants that are putting up their hand as well. So TikTok is is your friend oh i can see yes i can see a lot of thumbs up that's a that's a fantastic platform to use so tiktok can either be a platform for dance videos or it could be a platform for your work and this is what this is about because i know some people's parents are quite skeptical about the tools that they're using that social media is there for a distraction only if you choose for it to be so what i'm uh, i want you to to focus on is that it's not what you use but the way you use it and so if you use TikTok for the explicit use and I'm going to introduce you to a profile so get yourself ready um, if you use it for the explicit use of uh, learning what you're going to do is you're going to find something radically different so there is and I'm going to introduce you to a hashtag and I'm going to type it in the chat box as well the hashtag that I want to encourage you to look at is learn on TikTok. Learn on TikTok. So hashtag learn on TikTok. And this is a campaign that they've been uh, uh, pushing for there to be more educational videos and um, educational uh, content, dare I say, on the platform. So uh, without further ado, I, I'd like to introduce you to a, 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 a particular uh, profile that may may be of interest to you, um, especially concerning GCSE. Now, this person generally does GCSE, um, maths with Miss Chang, without uh, uh, giving away the game. Um, but what she does is she does very entertaining uh, videos. So I'm going to share my screen again so that you can see some of the stuff that she does. So that when your parents see you on TikTok, you can be like, yes, I'm actually doing work. I'm not, I'm not just faffing about and, and looking for uh, ways to, to waste my time. So here it is. If you want, but, but I thought I'd show, show you this first. Maths with Miss Chang. So, so here, what we've got is she's taken the time to um, be able to explain uh, different concepts. If I can go down, here we go. We've got fractions uh, of amounts. We've got finding the, the range from a set of data. And so this can be, instead of you just sitting down, you know, listening to music, why don't you listen to music whilst watching uh, a, a, a times table video trick? You know, and why can't you sit down and listen to music whilst doing Pythagoras theorem? At least that way it's, it's far more entertaining than sitting down and just watching the video. So you're not just enjoying the, the music, you're also learning something too. And so one thing that uh, I, I think that I've been very fortunate to be able to, to do 
is that through the learning process, you can learn multiple subjects at the same time, or you can be doing multiple things at the same time, and it increases your productivity. So instead of you just going on the computer playing games, why don't you play mass games? And so the last thing that I'd like to encourage you to do, or my last tip, is to make your learning interactive. Make it interactive. Do not make it boring. It's very easy for you to sit down and just be doing work and to be doing life, and that's great. Don't get me wrong. It's great to be able to uh, express your learning in that way. But I think it's far more productive and far more useful to you if you use things like this. Now, I, I wonder whether any of you have come across a site called Twinkle. Raise your hand if you have. Okay, so it seems to be, it doesn't seem to be that popular. Doesn't, see, oh, oh, okay, I, I see a few, see a few hands up. Favor, thank you. Arinze, lovely, 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 lovely stuff. So, Twinkle is a, a site, it's, it's actually a resource site that is now coming up with more um, interactive resources that was created out of a frustration. So, a, a, a teacher who was frustrated at the lack of resources they had set it up in their spare time and then uh, be able to, and then now it's turned into one of the biggest subscription websites uh, for education in its in it in its category. So uh, one of the things that I'm I'm fortunate enough to do is um, I, I I managed to speak actually to to the woman involved in Twinkle, and she uh, kindly shared uh, some of the resources that I'm going to share with you that um, she would highly recommend. So again, everyone that comes today. If you are interested in GCSE Maths resources, uh, I would love to be able to arrange that uh, with, with Franklin to send across to you so that you can double for your trouble and, and um, really be able to, to leverage maths learning outside of, the, outside of the classroom. So I'm going to call it up and uh, let me know if this is of um, interest to to you, especially those of you who are doing GCC maths. If I, if you don't mind me asking, I'd love to find out how many of you are. Um, I can see some of you have written um, the the stages that you're at. Um, it will be great to also find out um, what subjects you're you're doing, not just the levels that you're you're at. Because if you're doing GCC, you may be doing GCC English, you may be doing GCC Science, you may be doing all sorts. So it would be great to find out the subject as well. So I'm going to uh, call it up because uh, she was quite keen for me to share this with you. So I have got to do that definitely for her so that um, she can see that um, her, her resources are, are inspiring and, and encouraging people from all over. So I'm going to give you a, a, a key stage for mass revision sheet, which again, I'm going to share with you. So let me just share my screen so that you can see. So this is it. They've got different, they've got starter pack. They've got taster pack. And so these are all free resources that you can download. And again, for everybody that comes, you, you'll get a copy of this. I definitely want to make sure that, that that's arranged. Um, in terms of the different uh, uh, resources and sheets that you can use to help cover the things that you don't understand so look you've even got art and design if you're doing that you've got key stage five by the way for those of you who don't know what key stage five is that is a level so yes we've got a level here as well um and then we've got a, a free secondary school modern for a language taste a resource pack so i want this to uh, demonstrate to you that it's not necessarily what you do but the way you do it and so once upon a time, the reason why it's important for me to share this with you is that when I was nine, this wasn't available. So I couldn't really use that as an excuse. So I want to encourage you to see the tools and the resources you have available to you. And when I say resources, it's not just, you know, using Twinkle or, or using TikTok or, or using YouTube. It's about using the tools that you have available to you at your disposal for the purposes of learning and not for the purposes of entertainment or for the purposes of learning and increasing your productivity, not for the purposes of things that are not constructive to your growth or development. So on that note, I'm going to wrap up. Thank you so, so much for listening. And yes, if you want to contact me, there are different ways that you can go about it. You can contact me on, on Facebook. 
you can contact me on Twitter and I'm going to, uh, you know, I, I realized that um, um, uh, some of my um, social media people are already familiar with. So I was thinking in terms of, in terms of slides, it, it, um, I mean, it would be a one slide, it will be the shortest presentation on planet Earth. Um, so, so I'm definitely going to, to put my social media details in, in the chat box. So it's Christiana Maffedon on, on Facebook, it's at Tiana Maffedon on Twitter. I'm actually on Twi TikTok at Christiana Maffedon, and I'll put that there. I'm on Instagram at Christiana Maffedon underscore. Um, and also I'm, I'm on LinkedIn as, as well. So if on all social medias and also if you want, um, I have a, a YouTube channel called Channel of Empowerment, you can subscribe there. But otherwise um, I do speaking, actually a school speakers is, is one of the links that I'm going to put down as well. Um, and then also if you want, if you are happy with what you've heard today, I'm doing a masterclass. I'm doing a free masterclass. I'm sure send the message. I'm doing a free masterclass on um, uh, in, in mid-September for those who've missed out on learning during lockdown. So for GCSE, A level, and and I'd love to be able to support a university as well. Um, so yes, if you're interested, and I'm, again, I'm going to to write this um, for everyone. RSVP at masterclass at christianomaffedon.com. So on that note, I, I realised that that the time has flown by um, but I want to thank every single one of you for coming today your best is yet to come and I'm so happy that you've joined us and joined this amazing event a phenomenal event and I, I look forward to hearing your success stories and I look forward to hearing what exactly you gained from today so uh, without further ado I'm going to wrap up and, and thank every single one of you for coming today thank you dami for that sensational introduction and of course to to franklin and the organizers for for this amazing event thank you